Hello everybody, it's Appaloosa with Light Body Energetics and it is 8-8, known as Lion's Gate. And I wanted to do an offering of opening up the central channel to uh, allow you to receive your messages and guidance a little easier if you are planning on doing some attention setting or meditating during this time, then this is going to be a great way for you to make sure that your central channel is open so that you can align and uh, get in vibration or resonance with the higher vibrations that uh, that are opening during this time. So I am not an astrologer, um, but I do like to watch some of the YouTubers who are astrologers and talk about Lionsgate. So I want you to feel free to, to do that to, you know, Google or put into the search bar and find out more about Lionsgate. But just uh, briefly from what I've, what I've listened to is not only is it a new moon, but Lionsgate is when Sirius rises and all the ancient cultures, including the Egyptians, um, a lot, knew that this time was very, very kind of spiritual. Um, it a, was a time where this spiritual star rose and the temples aligned with that rising. It allowed for a higher vibration to connect with the, the gods, the, um, the guides, the angels, and receive messages. So with that, we are going to work on um, just opening up yourself uh, to be able to easy, more easily access your higher self and those messages from you know, the field, from your guides, from your angels, from the gods, from whatever aligns with, resonates with you, whatever makes sense for you. I'm going to use my table and uh, these crystals to represent your chakras now this is going to be a distance session, which means I'm going to set my intention to connect with you, whoever you are, to be here energetically, past, present, or future. So, you know, we are all energy and we are all connected as science shows. So all you have to do is lie down or sit down for that matter and just use your intention, set that intention to be with me here and to receive this tuning. This isn't going to be a very long tuning. We are just going to open up the sun star, open up the earth star, clear the central channel. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do at Light Body Energetics. And thank you for being here. Subscribe if you like this channel. You can also buy me a coffee if you did receive a lovely tuning that you enjoyed in the description below. Thanks for being here. Now let's get started. Um, I'm actually going to start because this is how, how it's set up and sometimes I do this anyways. I'm going to start by opening up the sun star. This is the positive terminal above your head. This is how we connect with the sun. This is how our pineal gland um, can sense light around us and run our circad circadian rhythms, release hormones and make sure that we are, we're balanced in that, in that way. So um, I'm going to use probably the 174 to start. I may use some weighted forks, which you will not probably hear, just depending on what I'm, what I'm getting from the communal energy of the group. So the fork was gonna resonate with what it's finding in the field. And because it's a stronger frequency through the laws of, a, of physics and trainment, it'll bring that into a more coherent state. So I'm going to just use the fork and anywhere I get stuck, I will make hold there for a couple activations and work on just pulling whatever I'm finding out to um, the chakra where it should be in its happy home, about eight to 10 inches above the head. And then I will flip us around and work on the feet. So I noticed I was getting a little bit cut off on my head. That's quite all right. <sighs> I'm gonna set the intention now just to connect with the communal energy of the group using waves. An intention is a wave, just like sound is a wave. <sighs> and you can set your intention to have your energetic blueprint be lying down on the table here. I'm gonna start with the top of the head using the 174. And you'll notice me exhaling out the mouth quite audibly. Let that be a cue for you to take your own grounding exhale. 
Now as I'm doing this, you can start your central central channel breathing. If you'd like to find out more about that, Sue Mortar, Dr. Sue Mortar is a great um, is a great person to YouTube uh, search for. Great wealth of information. Central channel breathing is breathing in through the top of the head and out the feet and in through the feet and out the top of the head. Just imagine clearing, clearing out your central channel. The more sensitive you become to your energy and to your central channel, uh, the easier it is to see where you have tension and be able to release that tension as well. This will also allow you to connect with your with the field, with your guides, with higher wisdom, gods, angels, whatever resonates with you and allow those messages or your higher self for that matter to come through more easily. So I'm about five inches above the head, just kind of getting a sticky spot here, and I'll keep working on pulling out. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a working tone. It's kind of a dull tone, which to me sounds like maybe a little bit of depression, uncertainty. If I was using my biofeedback, it might translate as a low energy in the cerebrum. working on that tone or I should say the tone is still working the fork is still working so I'm going to grab the Fibonacci pair this is the 144 and 89 just bringing that through the top of the head you to hear what that sounds like. And just uh, take notice of anything you feel in your body, any physical sensations, any thoughts or memories that come up for you. All right, there's talking outside the door. I don't know if you can hear that. Ooh, that's an... not a good strike. And uh, when I get a few oddball strikes like that, it kind of indicates to me that something is shifting. If I can get, if I get two odd ones in a row and then a low, sometimes I get a very low tone. And what sounds like a little bit of alarm. Sometimes I get that if you haven't done this work before and uh, we haven't quite pulled the Earth Star and the Sun Star out to there happy homes. Um, that could be if you've been in, in stress, we tend to pull in our energy that pulls in those um, chakras above your head and below your feet, kind of like a turtle in its shell. And so being able to open back up, it actually creates more resilience in your field. It creates a stronger field. So sometimes I get those tones when uh, it's been a, quite a while since you've been um, open in that manner. I 
I'm in a sense of peace and serenity here. I'm not quite there yet, so I'm going to grab the 528, the frequency of love, DNA repair. And keep opening, breathing in through the top of the head, out the feet, in through the feet, out the top of the head. So that's nice and open. Now I'm turning towards the body. Now opening up that central channel from the feet to the, I'm sorry, from the crown to the feet. And then we're gonna flip, flip around. <laughs> I'm going to flip my crystals too. And starting with the feet here. Just use the um, noise pollution outside. about five inches below the feet. And you don't have to be watching what I'm doing, just using intention. You don't have to hear the tones. You're still receiving the work. Hopefully your clo eyes closed, tuned into yourself, into your body sensations and thoughts that may be coming up, letting anything go out your feet not holding on to anything that comes up. So this is pulling out quite nicely. A little bit of a working tone in here. Course with the Fibonacci pair. The Fibonacci pair being a mathematical equation responsible for all the order we see in nature, the laws of nature, the starfish and flower petals, spirals and seashells, and the Fibonacci pair is a harmonic, uh, harmonic of. 89 hertz and 144 hertz.
Still a bit of a working tone. So not quite with the open tone that we're looking for. So let's energetically uh, use the breath. Send that exhale out the feet. Getting to use the four seventeen. A bit of a whiny spot as I comb back through. <sighs> kind of reminds me of dragging your feet, being stuck. That's what kind of the feet represent is next steps or being stuck. One foot in, one foot out. I feel like that port, this 417 is catching a lot more information or it's uh, broadcasting a lot more information. Information just being um, energy, the standing waves that bounce between our plasma, double plasma membrane on the outer edge of our biofield and the body. All resonance. Still working. Let me use some angel forks. Okay, five zero nine six. I'm sorry, four zero nine six and four two two five is what I have in my hands. Ooh. So same spot I ate the four seventeen where I kind of heard that um what I call it whining <laughs> stuckness. Uh, the angel forks are also catching. I think that these higher frequency forks are being a little bit more broadcasting what it's finding. Angel forks are interesting when I use them to clear a room because I can hear the cycling sound in the forks when it catches um, whatever it's finding and I wait for that nice clear tone. We're in charge of our energy, so it's really up to us to let whatever that is go. A negative thought, a feeling that we have, 
kind of stuck here. Just letting that open up, breathing out the feet. <laughs> that laughter being in the background, really helping kind of set the alchemy of change. Using the intention to create alchemy here, letting go of any negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, physical sensations that we don't need anymore. Letting out that go with an exhale at the feet. I'm starting to, to shift feel tingles at my own legs. <sighs> nice. you but I felt a shift on that one. I'm going to come through with the 528 frequency of love, DNA repair. <sighs> Just fill that with light and love because in the end that's what heals is the vibration of love in ourselves and using that in our field to help shift anything we encounter. I'm going to turn towards the body, still using the 528, opening up the central channel. So imagine a lightning bolt going from your earth star to the crown of your head, or um, however you want to imagine that. I, I imagine it like just a white light. And the more you do this work of breathing through the central channel, the more sensitive you become to your own energy and where you have tension, where you have stuck emotions, and you're able to breathe that tension and let it go more easily. Reminding us that love is the vibration that heals, heals ourself and heals others. So if we can find in our hearts appreciation and love and radiate that out into our whole biofield, just radiating that, we will find resonance in the whole universe with that frequency. That's gonna complete the tuning. So go ahead and start to open your eyes. Be good to yourself today if you can put your feet into a sea salt foot bath or get a full body soak that is highly recommended after a little bit of energy work. Drink a lot of water and I hope you had some good shifts and you enjoy your new moon. Set your intentions, meditate. Although this was a brief themed tuning for the new moon and Lionsgate, you can actually come back to this video at any time that you need some more grounding. You need to clear your central channel, use it before a meditation, maybe do it once a week. I have the time signatures in the description below so you can just jump right into the tuning. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.